Hi everyone! Today I will be showing you how you can make the Reverse Endless Falls Knot. Let's get started. Attach one rope to your dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Gently pull the lark's head knot loose so that you have a nice horizontal loop right here underneath the dowel rod. Take your second rope and send the end through that loop and pull it through so it's even on both sides. Once it's through, you can go ahead and pull the lark's head knot tight to secure everything into place. Now it's time to form our reverse endless falls knots. To do this, I'm going to take the two cords on the left and the right. I'm going to send it behind my middle strings and form a loop by crossing the left over the right. I like to pinch it here in the middle so I see two loops, one on the left side and one on the right, with two strings that hang straight down the middle. I'm going to take the middle right cord and I'm going to twist it behind the loop, send it up, and then it's going to twist around to go through that loop. I'm going to do the same on the left side. So the left middle cord twists up behind the loop. It's going to twist around to go through the left sided loop. Just like that. And now I'm going to pull my two blue strings, the ones that were on the ends, to tighten this up. I can also adjust the middle strings too to make it all snug and lay where I want it to. I'm going to repeat these same steps. I'm going to take my two blue strings, I'm going to cross the left over the right to form a loop behind the two strings in the middle. Again, I'm going to pinch it right here where everything connects so that I can see two well-defined loops. I'm going to take the middle right string, twist it up behind the right sided loop so it can go around and go through that loop. I'm going to repeat on the left side. Take the left middle string, twist it up and behind the left loop. It's going to go around and through the loop. And I pull those blue strings to tighten. And again, we just keep repeating. So, so one more time, I'm going to take my two strings on the end and send them behind the two in the middle. I'm going to form a loop by crossing the left over the right. With those two strings hanging down the middle, I should see two loops. My right middle string comes behind to twist up and around and through the right loop. The side on the left middle, behind, around, and through the left loop. Pull it all tight to secure. Keep repeating these steps until you have reached the desired length. And this is what your design will look like when you're finished. 
So if you turn this around, you'll see the other side of that endless falls knot, the standard side that we see when we typically form this knot. So what we're doing when we make this reversed method is we're seeing the back side. It makes this beautiful design, which is actually the reason for the name Endless Falls. It looks like the ropes are endlessly falling inside each other. So this is just a fun way to make this knot if you want to see this side of the knot and not have to flip your project around at the end. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.